Hello everyone and welcome back to the shop. Well, I was uh, going for eBay and I saw this and I thought well, this would be quite interesting to do a teardown on. It's a 4G antenna. Uh, I paid under £5 for this delivered, so I'm not expecting much. Uh, it comes, uh, this is the SMA connector version. Uh, there's about three metres of lead on it and here's the antenna module it's not particularly big uh, sadly i can't find my little ruler so we're gonna use the good old-fashioned vernier uh, it's about 54 millimeters that is but i say 74 millimeters and about eight mil thick uh, looks like there's a space for a sticky pad. Sticky pad was not included, which is a, a bit of a shame because that would have been nice to actually stick that on the window. Uh, like, I have tried this out and so it actually worked better than I thought. Uh, my uh, router with standard aerials on, I get about two bars. With this on, I get two to three bars, so it is an improvement over the standard aerials. Uh, the good thing is you can, you you're, you've got more flexibility of where to put this uh, compared to me twin Yagi, which is mold, uh, mounted on the roof. Uh, that gets four to five bars, so it's nowhere near that, but it is an improvement from the standard aerial setup. And like I said. It does give you the ability to, I don't know, stick this on the outside of the window or, you know, get it into a different location than the actual router. And uh, less than five pound, it's probably worth it for the cable and the connectors. Right, let's uh, see if we can open this up. Let's see what's inside. I'm not expecting much inside, to be honest at the price I was expecting nothing inside <laughs> right this seems to be pretty much glued shut so I may have to be a bit more vicious than normal right it is actually breaking around the glue line which is good It's not powered by anything, so there's obviously. Ouch, that was almost thin my fingers. Right. We're almost there. Here we go. The inside. Nothing different than what I expected. Right. Okay, the center, <coughs> excuse me. Mm, it's very strange, hopefully. Uh, okay, right, what we got, I actually thought that was almost shorted together. There isn't actually two separate antennas here at all. Uh, the centre pin on both are common here. So it's using the same antenna. Uh, it looks like it is connected there but it's not. That actually goes to a through hole to the other side. So we have this is the aerial array for the centre pin. Uh, the out the outers are connected to this array. They are offset. So I don't know if that gives it, that may actually give it some directionality. I would have thought to this way because you would have like this being the reflector and these being forward elements. Okay, I mean, I 
don't know much about this type of aerial technology or even if it works like i said it, it isn't an improvement it's got the word lock on there i don't know what that means so yeah it is only just one antenna it's not actually two antennas in there because they're commoned up here and where's my meter let's just make sure get old faithful fluke into the picture right let's make sure they are totally isolated inside to outside is just totally ice sorry that was me it's totally isolated and I would expect these to be commoned up yes and the centers to be commoned up hopefully I'm still in view yes they definitely are right so yep yeah, okay Right, as you see, this is the ground plane, and what's my meter like? That's point 0.1. So that three meter cable length is giving us about a point 0.4 of an ohm drop, which is not too bad. Let's try this one. Point six, and that was point one, wasn't it? So, and the center is about a point five. So this would be the center element. Isn't it? Yep. It's not actually lacquered at all. So one would imagine that would may tarnish with time. Whether it would uh, do anything, but that's what's inside there. I was actually expecting, uh, like the other one, I think that had two individual aerials, but this is just, yeah, connected to the single one. Maybe two of these, and you only use one, connect to each, uh, each output from your router would be even better. Right, there's no special holding this together. The actual case looks like it's got two holes for screws, which actually line up to the two holes on the circuit board. Alas, they didn't put any screws in. Either. They obviously just glued the cover, which I can, yes. I must admit, I am going to keep this one. Uh, the other one that I reviewed was actually worse than the internal setup, so that actually went in the bin. I think I kept the cable. Come on. But yeah, this one seems better. It actually, uh, came in this bag as well. If anyone knows these, uh, XC Source. Okay. Thank you for purchasing. Yeah, okay. Obviously cheap Chinese. And yeah, with a nice nice design. Whether it's uh the crack length for your four G I do not know. Uh I mean, maybe someone on here can tell us. Okay. Many thanks for watching. Hope that was of interest to someone. Sorry, I'm, sorry, I was playing.